and his senior center, Andrew Nelson. Coach Jackson, we'll start with your opening comments, Coach. Uh, just grateful to be here, excited about 2024. Uh, I also brought, uh, I like to call him my sensational sophomore, he's sitting in the back, Sharante Bailey. Uh, so I want him to get experience of, of experiencing media day. But just uh, excited to be here, ready to get the season going. Uh, excited for these guys, and I, I know they're ready as well. Joe, you got a question? Yeah, Rico, new helmets are, are a story this year. It looks like you've got one, maybe two new helmets <laughs> this year. Tell me about those. Yeah, the, the, I guess you can call it uh, chrome red is, is a, uh, just add a little flavor. That's, that's pretty much it. I mean, we'll wear it every now and then. Uh, I tried to make the decals like uh, uh, Blast from the Past uh, and some Water Dogs in this group. So I like what, what Coach Nick said about bridging uh, the community together. That kind of brings the old with the new. So uh, we'll wear it every now and then. But we just said uh, the helmet is a helmet. You know, you got to go play football at the end of the day. Okay, so my first question, Kamar, is for you. What does it mean to you personally that you got selected to come to the next week? Uh, it's a great feeling. I appreciate it. Not first time, but yeah, I appreciate it. Everybody always has a first time. Okay. What about you, Nelson? What do you think of you? Uh, I'm just grateful that Coach and God have brought me up here, given me this opportunity to speak. Uh, I'm just happy and grateful. Coach, another question for you this time is talk about your region this year. Little changes to it, little subtle changes, but what, how do you anticipate things right now changing with the area being restructured? Um, I'm excited. It's, it's new. We're in the north. Um, I feel like as it is geographically in the north. <laughs> so um, It's going to bode well come playoff time. No Not doubt. We go to Mobile. No doubt. Um, I think last year we went to our middle, I think it was five hours yes. for a away game, which was crazy. But uh, anyway, uh, just new challenges. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a coach that believes in playing football and not ducking opponents. And, you know, at the end of the day, you got to go play. So uh, I'm excited about our non region. I'm excited about our region. Um, uh, it's a tough region, but I'm excited to, to compete. Coach, uh, talk about the uh, new facelift on the gray old lady. Man, it's, it's awesome. Uh, just thankful to our, our, our superintendent, our school board, our principal. Uh, Aniston, we're, we're pushing for a program, not a team. And just catching up with the times. I, I think that the, the turf is going to help us. Uh, as far as manpower, it's going to help us athletically. And it's aesthetically pleasing as well. So it's, it's, it, really, it really looks good. Uh, they're putting the finishing touches on it right now. Um, that, that makes it even more exciting when we come out on August 30th at home. Well, just the money alone that you save in tractor expenses and cutting grass and all that fun. And paint the field. Paint the field. Oh, man. Yeah. Now we just go play. Um, I got a question for both players. Uh, Y'all are both seniors this year. Um, is there any added pressure um, with being a senior, and how is this season uh, the start uh, different from past seasons? Uh, it's different because we play different teams. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just very different. Like Kamara said, it's a lot of new teams. I feel like it's kind of a tougher schedule this year. But um, I just feel a lot more pressure being a senior because it's really my last year just being out here. So, a question for the players: What is your favorite part of the whole process? From, and I, I mean, I'm going. I want you to think back to the end of last season up until this season. What is your favorite part of the whole process? My favorite part is the work that we put in. To, um, we had to win the games and all that. Uh, I'm very excited about the season and everything. I love the beginning of the like actual season, like August come August, because then we start back in, start back getting ready to actually play instead of just working. Like I love working, but I love being able to actually play and see that work you put in. Thank you. Here's that. 
I have the opinion that a lot of championships are won in the summertime. It's the work you put in that nobody sees that makes a difference, Coach. Can you talk to that a little bit about these gentlemen here and even uh, our super sophomores talk about what they put in for you? A big reason why I chose these two young men and I, and I brought uh, Sharante is just the mentality. Uh, Kamar may, may have missed one workout this summer uh, and he let me, he let me uh, he informed me what was going on. Uh, and he comes through the hard head every day. Uh, Andrew had an injury in the spring, but and he'll be ready to go. You know, week one hasn't missed a day. I mean, they're completely committed to uh, not only bettering themselves and 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 bettering us as well, helping us uh, achieve goal, our goals. Uh, Sharante the same way um, hasn't missed a workout. That, that all three of them have a different mentality, and the mentality is is to work, and and that's pretty much my mentality. Um, they didn't get it from me. Uh, parents did a great job. Uh, grandparents did a great job. I just add a little salt on top, maybe a little pepper too. But uh, those guys, man, they, they have been the, ult the ultimate workers. And I, and also, which make me, uh, I guess, even prouder, they're offensive and defensive linemen. That's where you win the game at. I mean, uh, we're full of skill guys. We got a ton of them, but we're going to ride those guys back. Rico, tell us about some of those skill guys and, and specifically who kind of steps in to give you the, the production that you got from Jay Money last year. And then tell us a little bit about your big sophomore back here. Uh, start with the skill guys. Man, we have a plethora. Uh, Ja'Cory Carr, he's had a great offseason. He started last year. He was a 10th grader. He's upcoming junior. Uh, he's an outside receiver. Uh, Damon Pope, he started three games, four games for us at quarterback last year uh, when Gavin got hurt. And we're expecting big things out of him. Uh, Brock Grant has had a great offseason. Uh, he's going to play some running back for us. Uh, we got a kid in, a uh, kid transfer from Wilburn, um, Jabbar, Jabbar Williams. We're expecting big things from him. He's had a great offseason. Uh, it's, it's so many kids. Uh, Caleb Moore, he's an ex receiver. He spot played last year. Uh, Caleb has had a, a been, he's been consistent, been there pretty much every day. Uh, Tariq Jenkins, he spot played last year. He's going to play some safety. Uh, Jay Money's uh, uh, cousin, uh, he's going to start for us at safety. Uh, he spot played a little bit last year. So we, we got a lot of kids that have a lot of time. Kamar's brother, he's not a skill guy. He's about 6'1", about 330. Uh, he's, he started a couple games for us last year. He's going to be our left guard, possibly. Uh, so, I mean, our, our skill guys never really worry about that. You always worry about the trenches because that's where the games are won or lost. Uh, a little bit about Sharante. Uh, we talked about his mentality. Right now, he's uh, he's learning a couple offers. Texas State, uh, ULM, uh, Alabama State is going to grow. He's been to uh, uh, several counties, actually counted in Alabama. A uh, quick story, the Alabama O-line coach was the O-line coach at Alabama State when I played. So Coach Cavs has been long, around a long time, so it's a good connection. Uh, I think with Sharante, he's about 6'3", six, 6'4", six, but, you know, it's a different height when you get to Bama. Uh, I saw the uh, the Caden Proctor kid, my God, he's about 6'9". <laughs> so, uh, but he did, a, he did a great job. He's going to have a monster year. Um, I'm just really excited about our team. I, feel, I, I was talking to the kids in the car, or the young men in the car, I should say kids. And I feel like we're a closer this year, a closer mid team. So, very excited. Rico, this is your second year. I mean, you've kind of figured out where all the sticks and stones are now. Where do you feel like the program needs to grow the most to continue to develop as a program and not just a team that might have a good year? Just consistency. I think that's our word. Uh, even this summer, I told the kids that, I mean, we'll be up to the heights and, and we'll kind of, we won't bottom out, but we'll kind of drop down to the middle, just up and down until like the last two or three weeks, we really locked in. Yeah. So just consistency from us as a team, as far as them academically in the classroom, as far as just us as a, a support system, everyone being involved. So I think the word is just being consistent and keep uh, putting pressure where it needs to be applied. So. Um, we're growing, and it, you know, it has no choice. 
know, as long as Anson sees fit for, for me to be the coach, it won't be a team, it'll be a program. So going into this season, tell me about what that week before the first game, what, what, what are things going to look like, Coach? How, how, how are y'all going to be? Well, we have a jamboree game. We're playing uh, Heffern, Clermont County. Uh, that, that's, we're going to treat it like a real game to get ready for, for a 5 8 uh, bowl guard that's coming in. Um, business as usual. Uh, we'll break down film. We'll have practice it up. Uh, our structure practice it up normally how it is. Uh, we have, we want to go one and zero every week, but we do have big goals. I mean, I come to Anderson and I said this last year, region champions and, and state champions. We didn't, we didn't achieve that last year. That doesn't mean the season was a failure. It just shows what we need to build on. So uh, we have that same goal this year. Um, we got about 60 boys strong, and, and I feel like we're getting ready to go. Have any other questions from the field? Coach, at this time, we've got one more question. I'll end it on something like, uh, do you have uh, the new college football game in the field house yet? When can I come play? So we we so we played it last week. Last week, uh, I I played uh, Jay Money's uh, cousin, and he beat me by three. No, he beat me by four. Uh, they all think they pros in, and I don't even have a PlayStation Five. But I've been playing college football for a long time. So whenever you want to stop by, we gonna I'm gonna give them the brain the system of it, and, and we play. So they they they, they stay in uh, maybe two times a week and they play the game. So it's pretty cool how they have it set up uh, with with even our kids. Uh, Rock is on there. Uh, Jay Money's on there. Uh, uh, Spooty Antonio Kite's on there. It's pretty cool how they have it set up. It's, it, I can tell it was a big investment. Big investment. Now I'm gonna get ready to go buy a PlayStation 5. <laughs> and which one of you two is the best? I'm, I'm most definitely better. <laughs> probably is. All right, so Coach, in your closing remarks, just talk about your expectations for the season. Uh, expectations, just grow from year one. Uh, obviously, uh, expectations, playoffs, region champion, state champion. I mean, that's that's what we're, what we're striving for. Um, that's the football side. The, the growth side is uh, having these young men growing in manhood, going into the community. And whether they play football or not, to me, I really don't care. I care if that's what they want to do. I want them to be successful. So if they want to go to school, I'm going to help them any type of way I can to go to school. I don't care if they come. They may want to be the, the president of Aniston Country Club. That's great. I'm gonna help them any way that I can. So, uh, just growth into adulthood, manhood, uh, from the growth side, from the football side, is you know we want to play a protective stadium. Well, coach, thank you so much. We appreciate you guys being here with us today. Uh, and so, at this time, we'll conclude with Aniston.